God, we're grateful to be here, Lord Jesus. Grateful to be in your presence, mighty God. Move today, Lord Jesus, touching each and every one of us, mighty God. Speaking to us, Lord Jesus, directing our steps by your word, mighty God. Open our eyes, Lord Jesus, and our hearts to your word in this time. In the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you all. You may be seated. God bless you, musicians. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. We're grateful for the presence of the Lord. We're grateful for the Spirit of God today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's turn to the book of Matthew chapter 16, praise God. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Praise God. Matthew chapter 16, praise the Lord. From verse 24, praise God. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Praise God. Verse 24 says, Then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Jesus here, he tells the disciples, praise God, uh, in the last times, where after he had proclaimed to them how his, uh, how, about his death and resurrection, praise God. He tells them, if anyone desires to come after me, to follow me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Praise God. What does it mean to come after the Lord, praise God, to follow God, hallelujah. What does it mean to deny ourselves, praise the Lord, and to take up our cross and follow him, praise God. For us to follow God, praise the Lord, I'm going to focus on the first part of this one, which is let him deny himself, praise God. There's a whole preaching service that can be done on taking up our cross, praise God. But the first part that is required for following God, hallelujah, is denial of oneself. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Praise God. We need to deny ourselves in order to follow God. What does he mean by that? He says, for whoever desires to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Praise the Lord. Praise God. There's something deeper in these words than life and death. Praise God. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Praise God. And that's what we're going to pry into the word of God today to see what the word of the Lord means by denying ourselves and losing our life. Praise God. To find it in him. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's look at this through an example that we have gone over several times in different preachings. Praise God. But the word of the Lord, you can learn a lot of things from one verse. Praise God. You can learn many things from it. Praise God. In Mark chapter 10 from verse 17. Praise the Lord. Mark chapter 10 from verse 17. Praise God. This was someone 
as the Bible says that whoever desires to come after me, there was a man here who desired to come after the Lord, to follow God. Hallelujah. Praise God. And the Bible says here from Mark chapter 10, from verse 17, praise God. It says here, now he was going out on the road. One came running, knelt before him and asked him, good teacher, what shall I do that I may inherit eternal life? So Jesus said to him, why do you call me good? No one is good but one that is God. You know the commandments, do not commit adultery, do not murder, do not steal, do not bear false witness, do not defraud, honor your father and your mother. And he answered and said to him, teacher, all these things I have kept from my youth. Then Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said to him, one thing you lack, go your way, sell whatever you have and give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven and come to take up the cross and follow me. But he was sad at this word and went away sorrowfully, for he had great possession. Praise God. Praise the Lord. This was a man who desired to come after God. Praise the Lord. To come after the Lord, to follow him. Praise God. He came running to Jesus and asked him, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Praise God. He asked him, do you obey these commandments. And the young man said, I obeyed it from my youth. And Jesus loved him and gave him the answer to his face. Praise God. He asked him to take all that he had owned. Praise God. Accumulated. Praise God. Take all that he has in his life. Praise God. And give it to the poor. Denying everything that he has and following God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This man was asking for eternal life. And the answer from Jesus for him to attain eternal life was to lose his life. Praise God. His old life. Praise the Lord. Whatever possessions that he had, whatever the things that he kept in his heart, praise God, his life had to perish away that he may gain eternal life. Praise God. But he was too connected to his life to what he had, praise God, to the life that he was uh, accustomed to living, praise God, and he wasn't able to detach that he may receive eternal life. This is what the word of God means when it says, uh, if a man, we have to lose our life to gain it, praise God, and if we uh, hold to our life, we would lose it. Praise God, hallelujah. The previous verse we read, praise God. If we are holding on to things from our past life, praise God. When we came to the Lord, praise God. Each and every one of us were commanded to leave our old life behind, praise God. The things that we held dear, the things that we chased after, our old desires, our old wants, praise God. Everything that we call life, praise God, we were called to leave it behind, to lose it for the sake of gaining eternal life, praise God. He said, what shall I do that I may inherit eternal life? And Jesus told them, sell all that you have, praise God, praise the Lord. That's what it means to deny ourselves, praise God. Everything that made us who we were before we met Jesus, before we ran to Jesus and asked, how shall we inherit eternal life? Everything that we carried with us, God commands us to leave it behind. And it's not for nothing, praise God. The Bible says that he may inherit eternal life. This was the answer to that question, praise God. Praise the Lord. And many people find it difficult. As it continues in the next verse, praise God. Praise the Lord. Then Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, how hard it is for those who have riches to enter the kingdom of God. And the disciples were astonished at his word. But Jesus answered again and said to them, children, how hard it is for those who trust in riches to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of the needle 
than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. And they were greatly astonished, saying among themselves, Who then can be saved? But Jesus looked at them and said, With men it is impossible, but with God, for with, all, for with God all things are possible. Then Peter began to say to him, See, we have left all and followed you. Praise God. The disciples turned to him and said, Look, Lord, we have left everything to follow you. We have left our old life, our parents, our businesses, our everything to follow you. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And what does Jesus say to them? He says to them, so Jesus answered and said to them, As assuredly I say to you, there is no one who has left house or brothers or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my sake and the gospel who shall not receive a hundredfold now in this time houses and brothers and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecution and in the age to come eternal life. But many who are first will be last and the last first. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is the thing. Many people run to God, run to Jesus. Praise God. When Jesus is introduced to their life, praise the Lord. And following God demands a certain sacrifice. Praise God. And we have to sacrifice our life, our way of living, the things that we hold value that we may attain life in Jesus, praise God. But the way the world speaks to us, praise the Lord, it only speaks about the things we're going to lose, praise God. Praise the Lord. It only tells us about the things that we're going to lose out on, praise God. The things that we're going to have to leave behind, praise the Lord. The things that we hold dear, praise God. But it never, you will never hear the world telling you about what you will gain if you Leave it all for God. Praise the Lord. The word of God, the word of Jesus here tells them everything that they have left will be given back to them a hundredfold in this life and the life to come. Praise God. Hallelujah. It only comes from the word of God, the encouragement that is necessary for us to leave the things that we leave behind. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And that's what the disciples did. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When you read in Matthew chapter 4 from verse 18, praise God, how these disciples were called by Jesus. Matthew chapter 4 verse 18, praise God. Praise the Lord. It says, And Jesus walking by the sea of Galilee, saw two brothers, Simon called Peter and Andrew his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. Then he said to them, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. They immediately left their nets and followed him. Going on from there, he saw two brothers, James the son of Zebedee and John his brother, in a boat with Zebedee their father, mending their nets. He called to them and immediately they left the boat and their father and followed him. Praise God. Praise the Lord. These are our examples. These men, Simon, praise God, and Peter, the two brothers, they were out there fishing. The Bible says, for they were fisher men. This was their life. They were fisher men, praise God. They had boats. They had nets. They had a business where they sell their fish, praise God. How they make a living. They provide for their family, praise God. But when Jesus called out to them, praise the Lord, they didn't care where the boat went, where the nets went, where their fishes went, where the house, who's looking after their house. They left everything to follow him, praise God. Praise the Lord. And we're here today because we have left things in our life and cut out things in our life to follow Jesus. Praise God. These men that were in the boat with their father. Praise God. Left not only their boats. 
and their possessions, praise God. They left their father and their father's household to follow God immediately at the call, praise God, of the Lord, praise God. Hallelujah. We too have left friends and family, praise God, to follow God. We have deemed it valuable, the life that we find in Jesus, than the life that we used to live, praise God. That's why we are here following Jesus, praise God. The value that we have found in the life that is given to us by God was greater than ours before, praise God. That's why we have left, praise God. That young man who was rich, praise the Lord, wasn't able to see the value, praise God. And he went away sorrowfully, praise the Lord, hallelujah. But we are here today because we have seen and found value in the life, praise God. We have denied ourselves who we used to be. We are no longer fishermen, praise God. We are followers of Christ, praise the Lord. Simon, praise God. His brother, Peter, praise the Lord. John, praise God. His brother, James, praise the Lord. And all the other disciples left everything to follow Jesus, praise God, hallelujah, at the call, praise the Lord, hallelujah, and there's going to be many who are going to be called by God, hallelujah, and they're going to leave everything they have to follow Jesus, praise God, to come for Jesus, praise the Lord, to follow him, praise God, praise the Lord, we're grateful to have been called, praise God, not many are called, praise the Lord, hallelujah. We're grateful to have been called. We're grateful to have been given a heart like the disciples who were willing to give up what they had to follow Jesus, praise God. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Praise God, praise the Lord. Praise God. Now, I'll read in uh, John chapter 6, verse 22, praise God. John chapter 6, verse 22. See, there's going to be many people who hear the voice of Jesus. Praise God. John 6, 22. Praise the Lord. It says there, On the following day, praise God, uh, on the following day when the people who were standing on the other side of the sea, so that there was no other boat there except the one which the, his disciples had entered, and that Jesus had not entered the boat with the, his disciples, but his disciples had gone away alone. He, however, other boats came from the uh, from Tiberias near the place where they ate bread after the Lord had given thanks. When the people therefore saw that Jesus was not there, nor his disciples, they also got into the boats and came to Capernaum, seeking Jesus. And when they found him on the other side of the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? Jesus answered them and said, Most assuredly I say to you, you seek me not because you saw the signs, but because you ate of the loaves and were filled. Do not labor for the food which perishes, but for the food which endures to everlasting life, which the Son of Man will give you, because God the Father has sent his seal on him. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. After he's fed these 5,000, praise God, and gave a meal, praise the Lord, he went to the other side of the sea to Capernaum, praise God. And these people woke up the next morning seeking after the Lord, praise God. They went out seeking after the Lord. They wanted to be where he was. They wanted to follow him, praise God. When they saw that the boats had left, praise God, and figured out, okay, he must be on the other side, they also too jumped on the boats, praise God, and went to the other side. But when they went over there, Jesus revealed the truth of why they were following him. Praise God. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, he said to them, Most assuredly I say to you, you seek me not because you saw the signs, but because you ate of the loaves and were filled. Praise God. 
Praise the Lord. There's some people who are going to follow Jesus. Praise God. Hear his calling, praise the Lord, but for the wrong reason. Not to have a new life in Jesus, praise God, but because of the benefits, praise the Lord, because of what Jesus can do for them, praise God, because of what benefits he can add to their life, praise the Lord. And so they follow him. And you know what? No one is going to know their intention except God himself, praise the Lord. Only God can see into their hearts, praise God. Praise the Lord. And when these people came to him, praise the Lord, he didn't just welcome them. Praise God. He spoke the truth of their intentions to them. Praise God. And it says here in verse, praise the Lord. Continuing, it says, they, and then they said to him, what shall we do that we, we may work the works of God? Jesus answered and said to them, this is the work of God that you believe in him whom he has sent. Therefore they said to him, What signs will you perform then that we may see it and believe you? What works will you do? Our fathers ate the manna in the desert as it was written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Then Jesus said to them, Most assuredly I say to you, Moses did not give you the bread from heaven, but my father gives you the true bread from heaven. The bread of God is he who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Then they said to him, Lord, give us this bread always. And Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall never hunger, and he who who believes in me shall never thirst but i said to you that you have seen me and yet do not believe all the that all that the father gives me will come to me and the one who comes to me i will by no means cast out for i have come down from heaven not to do my own will but the will of him who has sent me this is the will of the father who has sent me that of all he has given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up at the last day. And this was the will of him who sent me, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. Then the Jews then complained about him, saying, I am the bread which came down from heaven. And they said, is this is not this Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How is it then that he says, I have come down from heaven? Then Jesus, then Jesus therefore answered and said to them, Do not murmur among yourselves. No one can come to me unless the Father who has sent me draws him, and I will raise him up at the last day. It is written in the prophets, and they shall be... They shall all be taught by God. Therefore, everyone who has heard and learned from the Father comes from me, comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except he who is from, the, from God. He has seen the Father. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me has everlasting life. I am the bread of life. Your fathers ate manna in the wilderness and are dead. This is the bread which comes down from heaven, that one may eat of it and not die. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. And the bread that I shall give is my flesh, and I shall give for the life of the world. The Jews therefore quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Then Jesus said to them, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is food indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me, and I in him, as the living Father sent me and i live because of the father so he who feeds on me will live because of me this is the bread which came down from heaven 
Not as your fathers ate ma the manna and are dead, he who eats this bread will live forever. These things he said in the synagogue as, the, as he taught in Capernaum. Verse 60 says, Therefore many of his disciples, when they heard this, this is a hard saying, who can understand? When Jesus knew in himself that his disciples complained about this, he said to them, Does this offend you? What then if you should see the Son of Man ascend where he was before? In this, is it the Spirit who gives life? The flesh profits nothing? The word that I speak to you are spirit, and they are life. But there are some of you who do not believe. For Jesus knew from the beginning who they were who did not believe and would, not be, and would betray him. And he said, Therefore I have said to you that no one can come to me unless it, is, has, been, it has been granted to him by my Father. From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked with him no more. Then Jesus said to the twelve, Do you also want to go away? But Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. Also, have, also we have come to believe and know that you are Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to them, Do I, Did I not choose you, the twelve, and one of you is the devil? He spoke of Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon, for it was he who would betray him, and being one of the twelve. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise God. These people, the Bible describes them as his disciples, his followers. Praise God. It was a, a, new, a, 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 a massive number of people that were following Jesus from city to city. Praise God. Seeing his wonders, eating of the food that he provided. Praise God. And these people came to Jesus and Jesus spoke to them the truth, praise God. He revealed that he is the flesh that came down from heaven. He's the bread that came down from heaven. He revealed to them that, uh, praise God, that whoever eats of his blood, uh, of, his of his flesh and eats and drinks of his blood shall have eternal life, praise God. He revealed to them also that, uh, that he is the one who descended from heaven and will ascend back up, praise God. And the Bible says, when uh, uh, he said to them in verse 61, when Jesus knew in himself that his disciples complained about this, he said to them, does this offend you, praise God, praise the Lord. These people who came out seeking God to follow God, praise the Lord, Jesus knew that their intentions in their heart was not him praise god they did not want him praise the lord hallelujah they wanted his benefits praise the lord they wanted the bread that came from him praise god when he said i i will give you the bread that will give you eternal life praise god they said give us this bread when he asked that when he told them that they follow him only for the bread praise god they said you know our fathers gave us bread in the wilderness they gave us manna in the wilderness. What are you going to give us? What signs are you going to show us? Praise God. It was not him that they wanted. And when he revealed himself to them, praise God, when he revealed the truth to them, praise God, what happened? They were offended. Praise the Lord. Praise God. They were argumentative. Is in this Jesus? Don't we know his father, Joseph? Don't we know his mother? Praise God. Mary. Why does he say he came down from heaven? Praise God. When he revealed himself to them, the truth of who he is, that he ascended from heaven, praise God, that his flesh is heavenly flesh, praise God, that in him there is eternal life, praise God, they were offended they were argumentative and they went away. Praise God. They followed him no more. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And there's going to be many people who are going to come into the house of God. Praise the Lord. Eager 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. They're going to leave many things eager to come to the house of God, to follow God. Praise the Lord. Praise God. We don't know the intentions of everyone in their heart. Praise God. But the Lord does. And so from his altar, the Lord speaks his truth. Praise God. He speaks separation. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He speaks the truth about who he is. Praise God. He speaks the truth about righteousness. And it's going to offend people. And it's going to rub people wrong. Praise God. And they're going to walk away. Praise the Lord. Praise God. It shouldn't be a surprise when we see these things. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Because there were many who followed him. But the Lord knew. Praise God. The Bible says, for he knew, praise the Lord, those who didn't believe in him. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We don't know. Praise God. We're going to introduce Jesus to as many people as possible, praise God. And from among them, there's going to be a people who are going to seek out Jesus, praise the Lord, for who he is, for the truth that is in him, praise God, for the life that is in him, praise the Lord. And for those people, Jesus says to them, praise God, did I not choose you, praise the Lord, hallelujah, praise God. You know, when... We were introduced to Jesus of who he is and we decided to follow him, praise God. We didn't choose him. God chose us first, praise God, to know him, praise the Lord, hallelujah. There's going to be many who are chosen and called, praise God, but there's, out of them is going to be many who are not seeking God, praise the Lord, who are not seeking to to deny themselves in acceptance of him, praise God, who are going to hold on to themselves, their identity, praise God, the things that they hold dear, their morals, their ways, praise God, the way they live their life, praise God, and they wouldn't budge and make space for him, praise the Lord, hallelujah. And for those people, they're going to be offended and they're going to fall away, praise God. And they're going to choose their life, and they're going to lose it because of it. Praise God. Hallelujah. We ought to deny ourselves. Praise God. That's a daily thing. Praise God. When Jesus is speaking from his altar, remove this, cut this. This is the way of righteousness. Praise God. Do this, do that. Praise the Lord. We ought to say, yes, Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Lord, to whom shall, shall we go? You have the words of eternal Life, praise God, hallelujah. From this word of God, praise the Lord, flows out the words of eternal life, praise God. The pathway to eternal life, where shall we go? Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So as long as we open our hearts to God, praise the Lord, and open ourselves to change according to the word of God, praise the Lord, we will stay in the presence of the Lord, praise God. We will stay in the presence of Jesus, praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. In John chapter 10 from verse 27, praise God. John chapter 10 from verse 27, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We'll read from verse 22 for a bit of context. It says in verse 22, Now it was the feast of dedication in Jerusalem, and it was winter. And Jesus walked in the temple in Solomon's porch. Then the Jews surrounded him and said to him, How long do you keep us in doubt? If you are Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, and you did not believe. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. But you do not believe because you are not of my sheep, as I say to you. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Ne neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all and no one is able to snatch them out of my Father's hand. 
I and my Father are one. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise the Lord. That was a long answer to the question. Uh, if you are the Christ, tell us plainly. At the end, he told them, I and my Father are one. Praise God. But in between that, praise the Lord, he, dis he says, I've told you this before, and you did not believe me. And it's not a surprise, because those who believe me are my sheep, praise God. My sheep hear my voice. Praise the Lord. And interestingly, it says, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me and I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. Neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. Praise God. When we come to God willing, praise the Lord, to hear everything that he has to say to us, praise God, and to follow to every direction that he sends us, praise God, and to step on every step that he directs our steps, praise God. Then no one can snatch us out of the hand, out of the presence, out of the house of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If we are rooted in the truth, praise God, not in the benefits that we get, praise the Lord, but in the truth of who he is, praise God. And we're here to follow Jesus, praise God. And if we hold fast to that, praise the Lord, no one can snatch us from his hands, praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise God. If any fall away because of lack of belief, praise God, they weren't the sheep of Jesus. Praise God. They didn't come for the intent of seeking out God. Praise the Lord. Of following him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Of denying themselves. Praise God. Denying our needs. Praise God. Our desires. Our will. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. To follow him. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. In John chapter 8 from verse 12. Praise God. See, the only reason people part from the house of God, the way of God, from the word of God, praise the Lord, is a conflict of interests. Praise God. Praise the Lord. If if two don't agree, they can't walk together, praise God. The way people separate from God is because of conflict of interest, praise God. Their paths are separate. Their desires are separate from God's. Their wants in life are separate from God's wants in our life, praise God. In, in uh, John, praise God, chapter 8 from verse 12, praise the Lord. Praise God, it says, chapter 8 from verse 12. Then Jesus spoke to them. Uh, then Jesus spoke to them again, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. Praise God. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but, but have the light of life. Praise God. This comes down to putting away our old life, praise God. When Jesus called us, he called us out of utter darkness, praise God. Our ways were ways in the way of darkness, of unrighteousness, praise God, of sin, praise the Lord. But those who follow him, the Bible says here, shall not walk in darkness but have the light of life, praise God shall not walk in unrighteousness, in sin, praise God. But people come to God with a way of life that is unrighteous. And when the word of God directs light towards them, praise God, they shy away from the light that comes from the word of God. It's a conflict of interest, praise God. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. If we are eager to hear the word of God, the direction of righteousness that comes from the word of God. Hallelujah. If we're always eager and willing and obedient to it, praise God, we will be following God. Praise the Lord. We won't fall away from God. Praise God. Hallelujah. So we need to have eager ears and eager hearts for the path of God, of righteousness. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Then we can assure ourselves that we're in the path where no one can snatch us out of the hand of God. 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. No one can take us or separate us from God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. In Matthew chapter 7 from verse 21, praise God. Matthew chapter 7 from verse 21. Jesus was teaching his disciples and describes uh, and tells them this. Praise God. In 7 verse 21, praise the Lord. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. Praise God. These are people, praise the Lord, who love the benefit of God, casting out demons, praise God, doing wonders and miracles, praise the Lord, in his name, praise God, but practice lawlessness, praise God, the walk in unrighteousness, praise God, and they serve in the house of God or they go to the church of God and say, Lord, Lord, with their lips, praise God. But their lives is far away from the path of God. And when the time come and they say, Lord, Lord, we followed you, praise God. He says, depart from me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If we are open and willing to go in the path of the law and ordinance of God, praise the Lord, then he will receive us, praise God. Then he will call us our own, or his own, praise God. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. But we don't walk in pretense, saying, Lord, Lord, but our life showing something else, praise God. We have to deny everything in our life that is against from the path of God, praise the Lord, against the word of God, praise God. Cut it out that we may have, uh, uh, praise God, a union with God, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. In uh, 1 John chapter 2, verse 3 from, to 4, praise God. 1 John chapter 2 from verse 3, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. 1 John chapter 2 from verse 3, just until 4, praise God. It says, now by this we know that we know him. If we keep his commandments, he who says, I know him and does not keep his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word truly the love of God is perfect in him. By this we know that we are in him. He who says he abides in him ought himself also to walk just as he walked. Praise God. Hallelujah. If we're going to say we follow him, we know him, we follow Jesus, praise God, is only if we are keeping his commandments if we are walking in obedience, praise God, that's the only way we know we're following Jesus, praise God. Are we obeying every one of his words and his direction, praise God? Are we keeping his commandments, praise God? Then we can truly say we follow him, we know him, praise God, and we are following in the right path, praise God. It says now by this we know that we know him. If we keep his commandments praise god hallelujah and the word of god is always a sword praise god to the lives that we live praise god it's always coming to cut away things that is unrighteous praise god more and more cut away the fat praise god until we're lean and usable praise god for the will of god praise the lord that's the word of god and that's the purpose of the word of god in our life, praise the Lord, hallelujah, we ought to deny ourselves everything that we hold dear to ourselves to follow him. Praise the Lord. Praise God. A great example I want us to read before we finish, praise God, is in 1 Kings chapter 19 from verse 15, praise God. 1 Kings chapter 19, praise the Lord. Praise God, hallelujah. 19... 15, praise God. 
1 Kings chapter 19 from verse 15. Here Elijah, praise God, had just fled for his life, praise the Lord. And the Lord came to him and told him here in verse 15, The Lord said to him, Go return on your way to the wilderness of Damascus. And when you arrive, anoint Hazael as king over Syria. Also you shall anoint Jehu, the son of Nimishi, as king over Israel. And Elisha, the son of Shaphat, of Abel, Mehola, you shall anoint as a prophet in your place. It shall be that whoever escapes the sword of Hazael, Jehu will kill. And whoever escapes the sword of Jehu, Elisha will kill. Yet I have reserved 7,000 in Israel. Also, uh, all whose knees have not bowed to Baal and every mouth that has not kissed him. In verse 19, it says, So he departed from there and found Elisha, the son of Shaphat, who was plowing with his 12 yoke of oxen before him and he uh, and he was with the 12 the 12th then elisha passed by and threw his mantle on him and he left the oxen and ran after elijah and said please let me kiss my father and my mother and then i will follow you and he said to him go back again for what have I done to you? So Elisha turned back from him and took a yoke of oxen and slaughtered them and boiled their flesh using the oxen's equipment and gave it to the people and they ate. Then he arose and followed Elijah and became his servant. Praise God. Praise the Lord. God had told Elijah to go and call Elisha for a life of servitude. Praise God. Praise the Lord. And Elijah came to Elisha while Elisha was plowing his field with his oxen. Praise God. And he came and threw the mantle at him. And Elisha understood that he was being called for servitude. To Elijah and to the God of Elijah. Praise God. And when he understood that. What is the first step that he needed to do. Before he followed Elijah. Praise God. Before he took upon that calling. Praise the Lord. The same oxen that he was plowing the field with. That he may have increase. That he may sell and provide for his family. Praise God. The same oxen he slaughtered. Praise God. And burnt it up with the wood that was part of what he was plowing with. Praise God. He took all that he had. Praise the Lord. Sacrificed it. And made sure there's no going back to it. Praise God. If he left Elijah and went back, there is no oxen. There is no plow. There is no field. He'd given it all up. Praise God. He gave up his life. Everything that made up his life, praise God. Everything of his purpose and desires that he had before that mantle of Elijah touched him, praise God. He burnt it up, praise the Lord, to follow God, praise the Lord, hallelujah. To follow the calling, praise God. When we are called, we are touched by the mantle, praise God. We are called to servitude, praise the Lord. The first thing we ought to do is burn everything that is part of our old life, praise God, as a sacrifice, praise the Lord, to God, praise the Lord, as a statement to God that we have left everything to follow his calling, praise God. Elijah left everything to follow the calling, praise God, and he saw value in following Elijah more than the oxen, more than the fruitfulness of the land, praise God. He saw and desired, praise God, something he didn't, couldn't touch, praise God. But he had faith and held on to the calling, praise God. And what happened? He held on to the calling all the way until Elijah was taken up, praise God. And he was given twice fold. His desires that he had in the Lord, praise God, to serve God, praise the Lord, was fulfilled, praise the Lord. He did great wonders and miracles 
double the amount of Elijah. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Let's train our eyes to see the things that we're going to receive, praise God, in following God, praise the Lord. There's eternal life for us, praise God. There's blessings and wonders, praise God. And there's the truth at the center of it, praise God, of who Jesus is, praise the Lord, hallelujah. And he's worth following, he's worth sacrificing, praise God. He's worth holding on to, praise the Lord, hallelujah. I'll finish with this verse in the book of Deuteronomy, praise God. Deuteronomy chapter 13 from verse 4, praise the Lord. As he was telling the people of Israel, praise God, that he had called, that he had asked to follow, praise God. Deuteronomy chapter 13 verse 4, this is what he commanded them. You shall walk after the Lord your God and fear him and keep his commandments and obey his voice you shall serve him and hold fast to him. Praise God. We're called to the Lord to fear him, to keep his commandments, to obey his voice. Praise God. To serve him and to hold fast to him. Praise God. That's our calling. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. To fear, to reverence the word of God, to keep his commandments, praise the Lord, and to hold fast to him. No matter how harsh the word of God comes to us, praise the Lord, no matter what sacrifice it demands of us that we may keep on following him, praise God, we need to hold fast to him, praise the Lord, hallelujah. The people of Israel were not able to do that, praise God. The disciples were, praise the Lord. No matter how much torture and persecution that came in their life, they never let go, praise the Lord, of Jesus, of the calling, praise God, hallelujah. And each and every one of us have a great calling in our life, praise God, to follow Jesus, praise the Lord, hallelujah. How many of us are grateful to be called in the house of God and to be given a heart that seeks after God, hallelujah, and seeks after his desires, praise God. Let's stand and give praise and give thanks, hallelujah, to the God that has called us, hallelujah, to the God that has given us hearts, praise God, that seek after him, hallelujah, that seek after the king, the things of the kingdom of heaven that seeks after the desires of the kingdom of heaven praise God let's give glory to God that has called us with a great calling hallelujah we thank you the power and glory forever and ever amen